It's all blank. Yeah, I'm still getting the new studio set up. Uh, but, yeah, it's basically all blank. I need to shoot a video, as Huck's been covering for me uh, while I move. And tonight, we started and finished We Know the Devil on stream. Now, I have a very special relationship with the devil, as I'm sure many people do. But in We Know the Devil, the devil is two things. It is the rejection of authority that confines you and structures that hem you in. And simultaneously, it is the freedom to be your actual full self. The game explores this in sort of a magical realism way. But... It has a fundamental understanding that these are two sides of the same coin. We must reject, not rebel against, but reject entirely authoritative structures that confine us in order to become who we are supposed to be. And that is a very interesting thesis to noodle on. That notion that it is not enough to push against these things. We must simply leave them behind. There is nothing that can be salvaged from them. This is not as controversial or weird as it seems, right? There's all kinds of um, literature and scholarship that, that carries this through in different ways, right? Transhumanism, uh, a bunch of different brands of feminism, um, a lot of anti-capitalist literature. Like, this has been part of the dialogue in uh, civil rights and anti-racist work for decades, right? The notion that it is not enough to simply not contribute to oppressive structures. We must actively reject them and combat them. We must do battle with them in order to be considered on side. It is a powerful narrative and a powerful game. And at the end, we know the devil because it is inside us, trying to get out. Stay awesome.